So here we are in a WordPress multi-site dashboard and we're going to install the BuddyPress plugin. So we'll head over to the plugins option panel and you'll notice all of our current plugins have been disabled. This is one of the requirements of installing the MultiPress install. So we will come over here and add new. We don't need to activate those plugins just yet. And we'll just run a search for BuddyPress, which is in the WordPress repository. This is the one right here. As of this tutorial, current version is 1.61, and we'll just click Install Now. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? We'll click OK. It's going to unpack. We're going to network activate the plugin. And that brings us back to the plugin screen. You'll see here it's been network activated, and we can check for that inside of our settings. Now, to edit the settings of a BuddyPress installation, you will use the installation wizard. And as soon as you network activate that and return to the plugin list, you should see this yellow bar at the top of your screen a little WordPress warning saying that it was activated and you need to run the installation wizard. So we'll click on this link and it'll take us to the BuddyPress settings. So you'll notice it dumped us into this updates area where it gives us information about BuddyPress setup. And there are five different areas that we'll need to complete. Setting up components, telling BuddyPress which pages we're going to be using, setting our permalinks, discussing a theme, and then finishing up the installation. So if you take a quick browse through this, you can determine which components of BuddyPress you want to use. And we're going to leave this standard, allow all of the different components that are standard with BuddyPress to work. But if there are particular areas that you don't want, you can uncheck those here. For example, if you don't want to have groups within your community. If you just want to have single people and let them interact with each other rather than having them start their own groups or having the administrator start a specific groups into which you might categorize people, you would uncheck user groups. If you don't plan on having a forum, a discussion forums, a bulletin board style forum, you can uncheck discussion forums. Uh, if your BuddyPress installation doesn't require an updated activity stream, kind of like a Facebook wall or a Twitter status update, you can get rid of this activity stream. And it doesn't take up too much room for a small site, so you really don't have to worry about leaving them active. And in my opinion, they're great functionality to have on your BuddyPress installation. So we're going to leave it as is. We're going to click Save and Next. This is going to take us over to the Pages section of the BuddyPress setup, where it tells BuddyPress which pages to use for these different functions. Now, to access the Members page, it's going to create a web page called Members, similar for groups, blogs, activity forums, registration, and activation. So these are the different pages that it's going to create. Again, we're going to leave everything stock as is, click Save and Next, but if you're installing BuddyPress on already existing WordPress site and you have different pages that you'd like to use, for example, if you don't want to call your members page members, you could use an existing page by clicking this radio button and selecting one of your existing pages. Same thing for the other pages that you use, you could name them whatever you want. You could either do this now or just have BuddyPress create the pages for you and then you could rename it later. For now, again, we'll just click Save and Next. Go to step three, which is permalinks. Well, currently, our permalink settings are compatible with BuddyPress. For more advanced options, please visit the permalink settings page. Now, right now, we're listed as day and name, and we do, in fact, want to make more pretty permalink page settings. So we are going to click this. I'm on a Mac. I'm going to hit Command Click, and it's going to open up a new tab for me because I don't want to exit out of this BuddyPress setup just yet. I'm going to come down here in my permalinks and I'm going to click on post name, which is a little bit prettier in terms of permalinks, and I'm going to click save changes. Once that's done, I'll close this tab, and then I'm going to refresh this page. 
and you'll see here that permalink settings are still compatible with BuddyPress, but now the day and name is not checked anymore because we're using the post name permalink setting. We're done with that. We will click Save and Next. Now we get to the theme area, and this is the one area where uh, it takes a little bit of, of noticing what's going on. So BuddyPress is telling us one of several things. It's asking us, do we want to install the BuddyPress default theme? This is the default WordPress theme that comes with the BuddyPress plugin. It integrates all of the fun features of BuddyPress for you. Now, if you don't use a BuddyPress default theme or a compatible BuddyPress theme, and of course we're working with a stock installation of WordPress so it doesn't come with one out of the box, the next option for you would be to install the BuddyPress template pack. And what this does is, you'll see here, it goes through your template and tells you how to upgrade your theme to make it compatible with BuddyPress. And it works pretty well with most standard themes. If it's a really tweaked out custom theme, it might not work so well. So you can click on Install BuddyPress Template Pack if you have some other theme that you want to upgrade to BuddyPress. Now, you'll see here this option does require a knowledge of CSS and HTML. You'll probably have to do a little bit of coding to get this to work. And it doesn't work all the time. Again, especially if you have a custom theme or a custom theme framework. So, being that we are using the thesis theme, or we're going to be using this thesis theme, and we're going to be installing a child theme specifically made to work with BuddyPress, we're going to choose this last option, which is do not change my theme. And this is if you'll see here, you have a custom theme already and want to manually integrate BuddyPress later. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to click don't change my current theme. And then we're going to click save and next. And then you'll see here on step five, your BuddyPress setup is complete and your site is ready to go. We will finish and activate it. And you'll see here all of the things that we had activated before. The five steps have now become four tabs, and this makes up our BuddyPress settings admin area. And you'll see here it recognizes that we're not using a BuddyPress compatible theme right now, and it gives us this message that we need to switch to one to take advantage of BuddyPress's features. That is to say, if we try to use BuddyPress features right now, we're not going to see anything. And I'll show you an example of that. So, we'll notice here that without using a BuddyPress compatible theme, most of these functionality components won't be visible. So, to demonstrate that, you'll come up here to My Sites. You'll click on the site that you have installed to work with Network, and we will go down to Visit Site. Again, on a Mac, I'm clicking on Command and then clicking on that link. It opens up a new tab, and you'll see here that here is the standard installation of our site. You'll see that it's working. It's using the 2011 theme, pretty simple, the obligatory Hello World post. Now, you'll see down here, BuddyPress has gone and added these specific functionally menu tabs here for activity, blogs, groups, members, and sample page, which is one of our pages we have here. And if we were to click on activity, it takes us to the page that was created for our status activity updates. You'll notice here the page is blank. There's nothing there. Again, because we're using a non-compatible BuddyPress theme, nothing is going to display. The functionality is not going to come up. It's a plain white screen. You might have similar results. You might have broken CSS. But in any event, we need a BuddyPress compatible theme to make this work. And that's why we're installing the Thesis BuddyPress child theme. So we'll go back to the menu and we'll continue editing. Again, we are still in the network admin menu area. Now, you'll also notice that BuddyPress has added an extra site or an extra admin options panel called Activity into your network admin dashboard. And that will list all of the activity that is being registered on your site. But for now, we're going to come up here and we're going to edit some of the pages and settings that are used in BuddyPress to make it work correctly. So if we click on pages, you'll notice that it has installed 
these pages that match up with the different components we selected. And right now, there's nothing to do there, so we're going to leave it. Under the Settings tab, you can edit how BuddyPress is going to work, including toolbars, how people can delete their accounts, whether they can upload avatars for their profile, whether they can sync BuddyPress to WordPress profile, and whether or not groups can be created. Also, you can select whether blogs and forum comments will allow activity stream comments as well. For now, we're going to leave this standard stock and move over to forums. One of the components that we selected in BuddyPress was to install forums. And there are two options. You can install forums for groups and or site-wide forums. And here's how these work. The group forums allow forums inside individual groups that are separate and different than site-wide forums. A site-wide forum is just one forum area for everyone who can access your BuddyPress site, and that's everyone on your network. So what you would have is maybe a Q&A or a support forum, and then that would make up your site-wide forums, and then inside your BuddyPress installation, you might be breaking out individual groups. Maybe you have a group just for moderators, maybe you have a group just for support people, maybe you have individual groups based on industry or some other designation or categorization that you have. Each of those groups could then have their own forums accessible, possibly, by only the people inside that group. So this is a way to uh, create a more defined or more categorized BuddyPress installation on your site. You can also mix this with certain paid plugins and other frameworks whereby you can charge people to have access to certain areas of your BuddyPress installation. Uh, and it's a great way to um, really make your BuddyPress site unique. And we're going to install both of these. Now, this designation between groups and site-wide forums is what causes the most confusion when it comes to defining the page slugs for the forums inside your WordPress installation, regardless of whether you use Thesis and BuddyPress or you use any other type of BuddyPress forums. So we're going to go into that. I'm going to purposely show you a, a standard error that you might receive in terms of page slugs, and I'm going to show you how to fix that error as well very quickly and easily and then I'll explain to you why it's happening. So for now we're going to install both. So we will install site-wide forums, or we'll start with group forums here. And we will complete the installation. And it's done and it's telling us that it has saved the installation file in the root of the WordPress install which is fine. You might get a, another box asking you where you want to install this bb-config.php. Just make sure that you click on a new installation and to put that into the root of your WordPress folder. It should find it for you. If not, you just need to supply the root address of your WordPress folder. So we'll go back to forums and you'll notice that that is integrated and then we'll install site-wide forums as well. And this actually installs a plugin. So it takes us to the plugin screen. We'll click install now. We'll, this basically installs the plugin BBPress. And BBPress is a forum plugin. And if you want everyone to have access to the forums, you'll want to network activate this. So we will do that. And you'll notice in your plugin list that it installs BBPress. So the two most recent plugins that we've installed are BuddyPress and BBPress. BBPress takes the forum activity from BuddyPress, and that's how that works. So that's basically it for BuddyPress installation. There's not too much you need to do to install it and have it running correctly. The one thing that we have left to do is to tweak some of the BuddyPress settings, specifically the forum settings, to make sure they're working the way we want them to. But again, just to show you that this will continue to not work, we will come back here on the 
buddy press activity screen you'll see it still comes up white and you can even try forums which come up blank as well so you'll see that that's still not working now just to show you that this is in fact working correctly if a buddy press theme were to be installed we'll come to the themes area we'll have to do this with the actual site so we'll go to your site dashboard again command click and that gets us to the dashboard for your site and you'll notice here that forums are installed which is the BB press forums and we'll go to the appearance area we will click on themes you'll notice the 2011 stock theme that comes with WordPress and then down below because we network activated BuddyPress you will see the BuddyPress default theme now whether you activate this or click live preview you'll be able to see what that theme looks like so we'll click activate and we get an error message cheating huh? now this has to do with user access and roles in relation to the theme that we're trying to activate or in this case live preview so there's a pretty easy fix so we will return back to the network admin area and we will go into the sites option panel and click on all sites and this is where you have the ability as an admin of the network to edit what is available to all your different sites right now we're just dealing with one site so we will highlight on top of that site and click edit and then we'll come up with a few different panels and we can see information about this site on our network what we're interested in right now is the themes setting and you'll come down here and you'll notice several themes that are available via this site so when multi-site is installed you can actually can control which sites have access to which themes and we have enabled BuddyPress, we've enabled BBPress, the forum plugin, and of course it comes with 2010. Now we know 2010 is running. So even though, and I'm going to jump back into the site manage themes area right now and just click back, even though we can see BuddyPress as an available theme, we still need to come back here in the network admin area and enable it. So under the BuddyPress default theme, we'll simply click Enable. And what that does is enable that theme to be used throughout our network. And once that's done, you'll see a message theme enabled. Now if we go back here and refresh this screen inside of our site theme dashboard, and then we click on Live Preview, or let's activate it in this case so we could just play with it for a moment you'll see that it has been activated successfully we don't get that cheating uh message anymore now if we wanted to visit this site we would come up here and click visit site and there's our new site looks different than the standard wordpress installation and you'll see that in fact all of the different areas of buddypress are working you'll see the widgets here and you'll see the menu bar above we click on activity Rather than getting a blank page now, we're getting a activity page, even though nothing is there. There's only one blog, the Biz Wizards. We click on forums. It won't show anything because we haven't created any yet. Same thing with groups. But if you click on members, you'll just see the one person, which is me. So the installation is working correctly we're just not using the thesis buddy press child theme yet so we're going to go to the next step and we're going to install that now 